Are you ready guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video uh, I have something special for you. You know I like to challenge myself and a couple of days back I went to a concert and I mean going to a concert is nothing special but I thought why not bring a camera and shoot some film. The show took place in a very small venue. I mean they have some lighting on the stage there but it's still pretty dark and my idea was to bring some HP5 and push it to 30 to 100. And if you're curious about the settings that I used and how I developed the film, uh, I will talk about this at the end of the video. The camera I took with me was uh, my Leica M6. And for lenses, uh, I mean, you know, for my street photography, I like to get really close. And that's the same thing when I shoot a concert. I like to get close right in into the action. That's why I brought the M6 with a 28 Summicron. And also I needed something a little bit wider than 28. So I took my Volkblender um, 21 1.8. It's a, it's a lovely lens, I love it a lot, but the problem is on the M6, I have only frame lines for 28 mil, so not for 21. So I pretty much had to guesstimate the framing on this. In the club, it was pretty toasty, which was a challenge in itself. And because I when I had to change the rolls, um, that wasn't easy with like sweaty hands and my camera like was really filthy. I wasn't really prepared for that, but yeah, I mean, it's summer, so yeah, of course, it's getting warm in there. And also getting spot on focus was a challenge because, I mean, there's a lot of movement going on, not much light, so using a rangefinder in there, not the best thing in the world, but in the end, it worked out pretty well. And before we jump right into the action, um, maybe consider picking up my new zine 28 with a ton of street photography taken in Egypt with a M6 and a 28 millimeter lens. Um, unfortunately, my x -Penzine is sold out. So yeah, thank you for everyone who bought an x -Penzine. and yeah, it's gone. I mean, I, I think I released it last year at some point and now it's gone. It feels pretty weird, but they're all gone. So yeah, thank you for everyone that picked up one of my zines. Without further ado, let's jump right into the action. I know this venue pretty well and the spot that I'm in is perfect to get the crowd and the band in the frame at the same time. Here I switch to the 21mm Volklander. It might seem to be a bad idea to bring an expensive camera and lens to a show like this, but I've done this many times with other gear and I've never had anything damaged. By the way, the band is from New York and is called Agnostic Front and they've been around since the early 80s. I've seen them many times and it's always good fun. Thank you. 
In Stigma, the one guitar player is a really funny guy. He doesn't take himself too seriously and he is always messing around with the crowd in a really funny way. Here I switch back to the 28mm Sumicron to get a little bit more reach. Okay guys, you've seen the photos and you now might ask yourself uh, which developer I used and which kind of settings. So during the whole show I stayed at 1 60th of a second. Um, I would have loved to bump the shutter speed up to maybe 1 25th or 1 250th. But yeah, I mean, it's not gonna happen in there, it's just too dark. There's no way. And my aperture was the, during the whole time was uh, wide open. And the developer I used to develop the film was Ilford microphone. What I like about the developer is um, the grain doesn't get like too crazy when you push the film. That is pretty good. I mean, it takes a while if you develop, uh, especially if you develop a couple of rolls. Like I think for the um, third or fourth roll, uh, it took me like 16, 17 minutes to develop, which isn't too bad. But I mean, if you're used to HC 110, that's a lot longer. So yeah. But still, I'm really happy with the results. What do you think? Have you used this developer? Have you pushed uh, like HP5 to a 3200 and shot a concert or whatever? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.